guys welcome back to the dnn medical series i hope you guys are staying safe amidst covid ensure that you're taking the necessary precaution wash your hands and air right so guys as we already said in our previous video from last week we're now virtually because we're social distancing because corona is not partial it can affect anybody and i don't want him beside me and him come give me anything <laughs> or me beside him and me give him anything give him, you know right, <laughs> so yeah we just have to just self-isolate and this is the best way we can do so and still deliver to you guys at home yeah. all right so as you know classes are suspended face-to-face -face classes that that is but we're still having online classes so today we're going to tell you what online classes it um, are like um, in the midst of the COVID and how we get around it. What are the benefits? What are the negative um, things about it? And yeah, just get into all of that. Right. So, um, like in our comment section below, I want you guys to tell us your benefits and your drawbacks of having online classes. Do you prefer online classes or do you prefer face to face? So on. So you can just drop them in the comment sections below. But we're just going to tell you guys our personal experience, okay? So we're right. going to basically start with uh, the uh, homeschooling benefit. benefit. You yeah. want to start with benefit? Okay. So homeschooling for me, um, I think it has some benefits to it. That's right. Because being medical students, our classes basically start at 8 right to four sometimes or five and you have to wake up early because you have preparation and time to get ready to put on clothes to go to school take transportation etc so you'd have to wake up way earlier than that to get your 8 a.m class but now with the new online um classing you can basically wake up 7 59 for an eight o'clock class and just tap on the internet and be ready for class so i think that's one of the benefits of it for me this is what do you think oh uh, yeah i think that's a benefit too yeah but you know for me i think that can also be a drawback because you know because you just know in your head say now nah, get ready to go nowhere so mentally you're not prepared for class prepared for class because you're lying down there you set you usually set your alarm for six o'clock to get up to go bed to go eight o'clock class but no you're stressed out and tired at eight o'clock man mm -hmm, i got lag in and so you, you, it's like mentally you're not ready for the class because you just wake up damn it's 7 59 let me log into the class class time so it can be a drawback as well can be a drawback. but i think the, where another benefit will, will come in is that with this virtual system not many people will have internet access so what they at this at the particular time so what they do if you miss a class and you never wake up for eight o'clock there is a recording of the class that is saved on the RVLE platform so you basically can do it at any time so i think that that's another benefit right they, yeah they have the recordings there and that's fine that's can well to me all the benefits can have a drawback because even you much watch it after <laughs> right you know it's there the recordings are there but some persons learn by like physically being there when it's going on physically being there to able to ask the lecture when you said this what did you mean or you know just be there and without internet access which is bothering a lot of jamaicans and a lot of people across the world you know internet is like current can gone um internet bill can appear you know have no money you get layoff parents get layoff internet bill can pay flow do you say lack of the internet the internet too slow and all of them stuff there it kind of very draining but if you have the internet access and you can go to the classes and access the recording you'll be fine but not a lot of persons are that fortunate yeah and even sometimes yeah. two lecturers have problems and so a class has to be rescheduled and all of that stuff because internet now work or they're having troubles with the blackboard and stuff like that so yeah there's also the issue of that as well even though there is a benefit of watching it at a later time i know myself for me and i don't know if anybody can agree but when i miss the classes 
and they leave the recording, I don't want to go back and watch all these recordings. So, yeah, I kind of made it this out, but mm. it's kind of typical sometimes. But, yeah. Um, I think another drawback word for me is that I'm a face-to-face -face type of person. I want to look up in your nose, sir. I want to hear what you say. Yes, I want to drop right by my nose bridge. I say, yes, sir, I learn, I learn. Yeah, I, I want yeah. to look up in your face. I want to hear the words roll off your tongue to say, yes, this is how this works and this is how this is done. Stuff like that. I'm not that type of person. I'm not. Especially for anatomy. You right. need that kind of like face to face thing. So right. that is one of the challenges for me um, with the video and the, the anatomy section. Because we're not getting the physical specimen. We can't go to the lab, you know, in our, in our own time and, and go like to practice with the specimen for exams and stuff. We just have to rely on the whatever video recording that's there. Right. Um, for, for exams, so, yeah. yeah, because usually you could go to the lab, you see the specimen, you can turn it this way, look at it this way, orientate, orientate yourself. yourself, and so, <laughs> so you are there pointing things, sir, I want that, miss, I want that, me, me never hear when you get that. When you just get a blank yeah. recording, it's like, okay, me get it, and do I understand? I don't know. Can you identify it on a specimen? I don't know. I yeah. hear what you say. Yeah, me hear what you say, yes, but you no know, speak now fly palm me for me understand. No, me no me no learn so I need face to face learning, but at the end of the day we have to social distance and we're practicing and yeah. you at home should practice too. So yeah. And I think one of the things that I am really happy about is that we don't have to be out of school totally. That's the thing, because you know, they spend a lot of effort and time and money and resources um, into this medical school and then if God forbid it should like go on for our next year, that's another year of expenses. Whether you look at it like they're not gonna pay school fee, but they need food to eat, right? They need rent to pay, they need all of that to do this. So if if it wasn't for online schooling, maybe we would have to just stop the program for now until um stuff resume and god knows who when who when that will be so right yeah, yeah that's a that's very that, that's a very very good point you know not being pushed back i know there are other, like nurses, nurses i think yeah. it's potential they're saying that it might get they might get pushed back a year i'm so sorry for this because it's like yeah. everything happens for a reason but being pushed back an entire year you wanted to finish yeah. in a specific time frame have your life plan out you want to do this looking then, forward to graduation too right and, and that year you have it in a mental space say, okay i'm graduating in 2022 and then you say oh no you're graduating 2023 yeah and imagine like, you want graduate 2022 married have kids Buy or some buy car or something, and then they'll push you back one year. No, Corona do better. Yeah, one year, what are working and, and um, I'm money away to get right. And you know, when you get like sit out an entire year, it's like the mindset that you had yeah. while it was going on is like you have to start all over back with the dedication and try to stay. Right. That is so unfortunate. But, yeah. All right, but sometimes you know, even in tragedy, it can. It can be a blessing in disguise, right? It's not our intention for anyone to be sick, to be honest. We want this thing to pass. But a blessing in disguise for us is that maybe we get more time to study. I know for me, during this semester, I wasn't doing any work. I was, I was basically panicking because when you're in second year of medical school, your exams are kind of a bit earlier. So we have started we would have started our exams in april so that we can start third year in june so the mere fact that all of this happened exam is now basically june so we get a little extra time to study and i think this is the best semester for this to happen for me because we literally have two nine credit courses um, to study for and plus another course so imagine it's a lot of work and stuff so it buys you a bit of time Right. And that's, what do you think, Nikki? Yeah, I agree somewhat, but still some drawbacks <laughs> because you know if it was April and we had examined early, say late April, you would have been prepared. 
So as much as you say we're not doing any work right now, you know the exam are come you're going to study. Now that it push all the way to Jude, you start cruise again. You get complacent, very complacent. You start cruise again and say, boy, you know, for June defiance, if I start now, I don't remember nothing. Exactly. But if it was in okay. April, we would have been prepared. So yeah. That's true. Because when the COVID, COVID crisis came about, and school was cancelled, I used to only get one month off. I literally took two or three weeks <laughs> not studying <laughs> and getting like, like, like lazy and stuff. Some people you know, take one month. One month? <laughs> <laughs> because then your exam is in two months' time. So I said, okay, then maybe I have time. And so I guess that's a drama as well but i'm that person that works best under pressure when stop telling yourself sir, sir. <laughs> nobody know work no well under pressure as well as the people say as some when, people when say one, when they do they do things last minute i like well under pressure i like that uno can do the work from before and <laughs> then uno can say yes man no sir if me did do this all this time, look what took me down now. But now I work well under pressure. When the exam exactly. beat down in my head, <laughs> it me remember. Not no go stop. Yeah. I guess it's not work based on the pressure, but you're forced to study because you know the exam be there and stuff like that. And then next thing is that now exam will be online. I'm not sure how I feel about that the spotter and stuff being online. What is a spotter? You say a spotter. Does the viewers know what a spotter is? Alright, so a spotter is basically where um you get cadavers. Which are What's a cadaver? Bodies. I don't know what that is. <laughs> they are the dead bodies and you may, they basically pin it at different points and you're supposed to identify that the muscle or the nerve, the blood supply to the air and stuff like that. So we usually get the physical specimen to practice it and then we get our exam. But no, they basically will take pictures and stuff and then we still have the exam. I'm not too sure how I feel about that stuff. Mm -hmm. Thinking what what do you think? Because anatomy is your thing, you know. So yes. what do you think about virtual spotters? Yeah, you hear when we say I learn when people speak for me. <laughs> like the lecturer <laughs> talk and yeah. hear everything where I drop out and mouth. So me now, yeah. I go for an exam, I look for some pictures. Me now get pictures in the hospital, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me get one actual person, but at the end of the day, it's better than nothing. It's better than staying at home or sitting out an entire year. So I think we just have to do the best we can and try to orientate ourselves as much as we can. And just understand that this is not anybody's fault. It's not our lecturer's fault. It's not you's fault. It's just a global pandemic. So we just have to make the sacrifice and try to do as best as we can. Yes. Right. And like in closing, we just want to say a shout out to the person that, you know, mentally, they, they haven't been able to handle this COVID. Like to be locked down and staying inside, some person may be depressed, some person may have family members be affected by COVID or will be affected by COVID in the future. Um, stay safe, get help if you do need um, someone to talk to, right? There is also the Ministry of Health helpline that you can talk, there are counselors and stuff like that. So don't lock yourself away and be um, swarmed with depression and all of that. And start just this too will pass, I think, and we'll be looking at this as an experience and it's a lesson for many of us. Right, and as you said, a lot of persons are isolated. Um, I want to add that a lot of persons are isolated and they're depressed, but they're also being abused. There's a lot of persons yeah. who are hungry. A lot of persons live day by day, so they don't usually say, I can buy up a month of grocery or a two weeks grocery. They usually buy up a two day grocery and so. So it's very hard for a lot of persons. Um, it's very hard for children who live with parents who are abusive or family members who are abusive. And I just really hope that they make it out through this time and, yeah. you know, try to get some counseling. If you literally have nobody to talk to, even a friend, um, a teacher, a friend, if you even want a stranger to talk to, we can drop our email or thing. You can just send a message to us. And on IG, on our Instagram, if right. you want. You can even, yes, we'll drop our Instagram account somewhere on the screen. You can DM us and you can even make a an anon anonymous account where it's not your real name and just talk to us if you want because we know that 
a lot of persons will not share you know because it's confidential confidential information confidential. and so but still if you have nobody and you exhaust all options we're here for you guys and i think we just should take a moment of silence to just honor everybody who has passed from the coronavirus it has it has affected so many persons it has affected yeah, so like many over, families over people now um being diagnosed with it right yeah. it's affected it's affected so many family structures affected so many different things so we just want to take this 10 seconds to just look straight at the screen and i want you guys to look straight at the screen with us as we honor the persons who died from the coronavirus right and okay. also right. the last thing we want to do is to like congratulate our frontline workers we want yes. to thank our doctors we want to thank okay. our nurses we want to thank the auxiliary staff in the hospital settings in the quarantine areas we want to thank the securities mm -hmm. the restaurant workers everybody that are everybody on the front line every single somebody even yes. taxi drivers taking the nurses and doctors are whoever to, to work we thank you guys so much we appreciate everything you're doing for us and we will get through this it's not a matter of if we will we're a strong nation we're a strong people and this cannot stop us corona zero we won <laughs> that's it that's it yeah. all right thank you very much um Nikki. that was um such a, a powerful statement here yeah. so thank you guys so much to uh so thank you guys so much for listening to us um be safe keep safe take necessary precaution we can say that enough wash your hands and your yard stay inside the more you go inside the more it's gonna spread stay inside guys. right and find yourself a routine don't just do the same thing over and over because you might go in depression do a little exercise a little music it's just do something this not little music or something man. Game or right, get your mental health in check and don't be afraid to seek help. I know medical students don't use the time to idle and say, Have time, get studying. All right, you need to do well. So, I think you uh, should take that advice. Well, <laughs> <I know, right? laughs> under medical right now, students, right I'm studying right now. Oh, please, oh, please. <laughs> Okay. Right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for listening. And if you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like, drop a like, drop, drop a comment. All right. Let us know how how, how COVID is treating you and what is it like. Right. What are your strategies? What do you do in COVID time? What do you do to prevent it? Do you have any family members that are affected? How do you guys cope? What's the entire process like? Drop them in the comment section below. Alright, that's it. Alright, peace out. See you soon. Bye. Bye.